Hi, it's Amy from Love to Live, and I am making a cauliflower pizza today. I hope you can hear me. Um, this is all that I'm going to need. Pizza toppings over here. Crust toppings over here. And this is to rice or chop up my cauliflower. Cauliflower's on the stove. Another couple of minutes for that to cook. And then I will go ahead and put it in here in my ninja, chop it up, and then come back with it already done because I think that's kind of self-explanatory. Um, when you get the cauliflower out, it will be watery. Uh, fresh cauliflower works the best because the frozen has more water in it. Um, you want to after you've steamed it or boiled it or whatever you do for your cauliflower to cook it you want to get as much of the water out as you can which if you have a ricer that does help because you can squeeze it some not to push it through to rice it but to get the water out I'll just use paper towels and just um, just squeeze it really good over the sink and get as much water out and then put it in my ninja and I will come back with this riced. Okay, cauliflower riced. See, it kind of looks like rice. It's real soft. You can almost even do it with a fork when it's cooked right. So, I want, <clears throat> I'm just gonna show you one, but I'm actually gonna make three pizzas. So I'm gonna mix up for three. Um, a large head of cauliflower should just about give you three cups. And there's three of us eating it, so there's one. So three cups will work perfect. And your riced cauliflower will go in the refrigerator and last probably last you a week in the fridge to and you can see down at the bottom it's a little bit better chopped there's a chunk that I didn't get I probably put too much in at once because you don't want to add liquid to it and that's usually how you all right there we go that's three Close enough. okay that's the only thing we're going to use this for Are you in production? yeah <laughs> hi honey put this out of the way three cups My honey's in here trying to stay out of the video <laughs> and laughing at me for talking to myself. Um, <laughs> then you want mozzarella cheese, the shredded mozzarella cheese. Now remember, I'm making three pizzas, so I am tripling the recipe. And it's a half a cup per pizza. So one. Two, and it does go over a tad. I am getting a little over into the bowl, but I don't mind a little extra cheese. Three. That's three half a cups or a cup and a half, but you know, for three pizzas, it can call for a half a cup. Okay. Now, this is a brand new bottle, so I need to get it. Half a cup Parmesan. One. Two. Three. 
Bye bye sp <laughs> spaghetti cheese. <laughs> And then it calls for one egg, so of course I'm going to put three. One. My honey and my kid are watching football, in case you can't tell. In case you hear them hollering in the background. They're in the other room, but, you know, it's football. I had a little paper towel. Here we go hands on. Okay, now we need one teaspoon, one teaspoon of oregano. So, again, three. May not quite have enough oregano. One. If not, no, I've got plenty. teaspoon of crushed garlic. I don't add that. I did the first time. It was a tad too garlicky for me. So I don't add that. Then we've got garlic salt. So I, what I do is I add three half teaspoons. So one and a half teaspoons for the three pieces because it calls for a half. Two. Three. For me, for us, that's plenty of garlic. I mean, I love garlic, but I don't like burping it an hour later. And that's what happens if I get too much. So. That's it. Cooked cup, cup, cup of cooked cauliflower rice half a cup of shredded mozzarella, a half a cup of Parmesan cheese, one egg, a teaspoon of oregano, a half a teaspoon of crushed garlic if you so choose to add that, or you could add a little bit of it, not quite all of it, um, a half a teaspoon of garlic salt, um, and then you mix this up. This is your pizza crust. I will show you what it looks like here when it's all mixed up. It is the bomb. It is the best. Okay, there it is. Now, I'm making three. So I'm going to divide it. Might be a little watery. I've got quite enough water out of the cauliflower. Okay. I'll cook that out. I'm oh, sorry. It's still going to be delicious. That's just going to affect you picking it up like a piece of pizza. It's not really going to affect the taste that I know of. So, basically, if you cook it and you let it cool off a little, you can pick it up like a piece of pizza. I don't care if it picks up like that or not because I'm not really doing it for that. I'm doing it for the taste and the health benefits of the cauliflower instead of the gluten and the the bread, you know, the crust. So, and it's delicious. So you want to take your pan. You can cook it on a pizza pan. I like to just cook it on this because this is what comes with our little, little oven we make it with. Um, this does take me a while to do because I do make them one at a time um, because our oven's little. I could probably use my mom's oven in the back, but I don't. So, so what we do is we take one, one of your mixes. So then see I've got two more in there, two more still there. You take, I put tin aluminum under it just as an extra for parchment paper. It says to put olive oil on your parchment paper to keep it from sticking. I didn't have any olive oil so I put a little tiny bit of vegetable oil. See how that turns out. And then you might want to let this cool off a little like I'm not but it's not that bad. And then you just press it out to get it 
Yes, this is very watery. I did not get the water out very well. I almost completely left that stuff out. It should not be this watery. But, I hope. We're going to see how it does. Might as well show you a mistake too, huh? Now you don't want it real thick because the thicker it's not going to get as done as you want it. And I literally just do it to the pan shape. You can make it a pizza shape if you want. I'm going to mm, eat that piece of cauliflower stuck out there. Oh my goodness, it smells so good in here. I wish you could smell it. Okay, this goes in the oven for 15 minutes at 450 degrees so that you can cook the crust up. Then you put your toppings on and cook it another 10 minutes or so. Um, you wanna make sure you, you're cooked, your toppings are cooked ahead. Like I'm gonna put um, sausage and so I'm going to go over here and cook the sausage while this is in. So I'll be back. Okay, I am back again. Putting pizza sauce. What did I do with my spoon? <laughs> And I don't have it just sitting on the table because it is hot. I have it sitting on a little thing down there. Now, of course, pizza sauce and that kind of stuff is up to you, what kind you want. Um, trying to get a better picture of that. Let's move it this way. how's that so it should be a little bit brown it is still hot because it just came out of the oven so get your favorite pizza sauce white sauce red sauce marinara sauce whatever I do like taking it to the edge because the pizzas aren't huge um, and they do get a little crispy on the edge. So I don't mind at all having the crust, having the pizza sauce out to the edge. I don't care about having that crust. I want sauce and toppings. Okay. So what I'm gonna do for that, then, mm, so good. Um, I'm a pepperoni girl. My dog, pepperoni dog, is over here by me, trying his best to steal a piece of pepperoni. There you go. <laughs> so, as much or as little, toppings are completely up to you, of course. This originally recipe came from, uh, I'll link it below where it came from, but it's originally for a, um, my brain will kick in in a minute, for cheese sticks. So the recipe that I'm going to link you to below is the original, and it is actually a hmm, cheese stick recipe, so you just don't make the topping. Or, if you want cheese sticks, make the topping. Whatever. Oh, it's a little bit warm, but I can manage. I just cooked up the sausage. Put turkey pepperoni, turkey sausage. I don't have either one of these today. So, again, toppings are yours. Make whatever you want.
I love mushrooms. I've got to have mushrooms on my pizza. Cook them and pre-cook them if you want to make them a little, you know, I, I, I don't pre-cook mine because I like mushrooms. I like the chunky mushroom. I want to know I got mushroom on it. I don't pre-cook mine. Cook onion in your burger or your sausage. Put raw onions on it because you're already cooking another 10 to 15 minutes. But I don't cook my mushrooms beforehand. Sausage, any kind of a meat, you definitely have to cook those beforehand. But because they are not going to cook in the little bit of time that you have this back in there. All right, me and the puppy dog are going to enjoy oh, one more piece of pepperoni. Oh, I have to show you because this first one is a little too watery. This is how I can get the water out. Just take it, put it on a paper towel, on a plate. See, still getting water out. It's got another 15, 10 to 15 minutes before I'll use it because I've got to put this one back in. I'll be back to show you this one and then that'll be it. There you go. Cauliflower pizza. Looks pretty good. Getting ready to eat it. Actually, this is Daryl's. I'm getting ready to make Jeremy's and then make mine. Okay, hope you enjoyed. Bye.